Well, I <laughs> hope you. Oh no, were you gonna say something? No, go ahead. You was gonna say something. I hope you keep posting these videos. I, I really, I, I come to your page and I get so much, you know, vital information on different things to read. What's going on? Um, it, I am really nervous right now. I'm, I'm in California. I don't know what the heck is going on, and um, I just, I don't know. I'm nervous, and I just, yeah, I tapped onto your live just this evening. Don't be nervous. Don't be worried. Worry is a debt paid in advance with interest to a debt that you may never owe. Don't be worried. When shit happens, deal with it. But if it doesn't happen, then don't worry about it. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So don't get the fear uh, mongering. That's going to make you ill, run down your immune system. Just deal with things as they go on because... It's like when I see women in, in, in Congo who have to deal with many, many things all of the time. Right. Deal with it, they get on with it. Don't worry about it. It'll make you unhappy. That's true. Okay, Shaka. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. We love but, you and thank you so much for everything you do. Bless it. How old am I? How young am I? I'm 32. Comment on Sarsasprilla. Great for the blood. Get some of it in you. Very, very good for the blood. It's a blood strengthener. Any of my friends them in this live? Wait, let me message them and see what they're there. You're taking too long to come. Um, bring you next. God, I love your page. Well, I'm going. I hear you, but I can't see how are you. Oh, wow, you can't see me. That's why. Yes, that I'm gonna bring somebody else in. Yo, hey, Shaka. Uh, see. Can you? Please. Can you see? Yeah, I can see you. No, I'm saying can you see you? I can't see you. Oh. Put that down, put that down. Take off the questions. Add me. There you go. Hi, Shaka. I can't see you. I, yo, you can't see me? I'm going to come back to the live now. You see them? All right. Kerry's saying that she see them. Yeah, but the thing is, right, this is the thing. If they're doing wild shit, like they want to be naked, start twerking, or like whatever, then I can't see that they're doing that. So you have to tell me. I'll just bring somebody seeing. Kerry, when are you going to come live? All right, we're taking questions. We're taking questions. Interesting conversations. Yo, yo. Yeah, I see you. What's up, OG? You can see me? Yeah, my I'm gonna get a hat, man. My hair is looking a little crazy. Your hair is looking how it should look. You don't need a hat, but go on. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, man, nothing much. I'm actually very surprised that I I got on your live, man. Um, but uh, 
what I could say briefly and quickly is big respect, man. Um, you know, um, your knowledge and your wit and, you know, uh, everything you, that you post, uh, it's very noble and, um, you know, it, it, it precedes you that, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, go ahead. Yeah. Um, oh, what's up? Damn, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh, All right. Hey, now I can. You can hear me? Mm-hmm. All right, go on. What was you going to say? Sorry. Uh, not that I, I couldn't hear what you, you had said, but then um, no, I actually had a good friend, man, who passed away. Um, but I, I forgot how he had brought up your name. Uh, one of our, you know, last conversations or whatever, man, you know. Um, but uh, no, I make music, you know. Um, I'm from Queens, actually. I'm out here. And like the heart of this uh, pandemic, I guess. When Queens, New York. When your friend passed away, did you make music about him or her? You know, I did. It's in the vault. It's in the stash, though. I had uh, I met up with like two friends, probably like a week after, who I had known him as well from childhood. But I haven't seen like one of those dudes, man. I would say like 10 years, easy. And then the other guy I've rapped with him probably a couple years ago. So what? Uh, when are we going to hear the song? Oh, man, that's a good question. I got to talk to my, my, you know, my dude who was on the song uh, and my other guy. They're actually doing their thing, man. They both uh, recently dropped another video. One of them, it was his debut video. And uh, the other one just put out his second album, actually, I think this week. All right. Well, send me the thing and or come alive again and play me a song because we're off here. Okay, man, that sounds good. Maybe I'll send it to you, man. I'll get you email or something. You know, I have a project out. Uh, if you're interested, it's on okay. everything, all streaming platforms, and okay. um, uh, it's called Chantani. It uh, it stems from Sicily. Uh, it means to cheer. It means excuse me. Cheers to the next hundred years. Chantani. All right, cool. Um, well, thank you for your insight and your time. And uh, condolences for your break. Bring somebody else in. Peace and yeah. respect. All right, man. Nice talk. Be well. Yeah, man. Gentani. That's what I'm going to say. Kerry. It's Kerry. When these flights start going again, you're going to come and you're going to see me and we're going to get your fruit game right. That's what we're going to do. Bring it to some projects and see the beautiful, beautiful people in Africa. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yo. How are you? Very good. Oh, this is nice. This is uh, very funny. I didn't think I was going to get on this. I was studying. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you, you live in France? Uh, no, uh, Canada. Canada. Uh-huh. Yes. Where are you from? Are you from uh, yeah, I'm from originally Djibouti. Djibouti. Uh -huh. Are you familiar with the country? Yeah, I've been to Djibouti. Yeah, so East Africa, French country too. A colonized country. Colonized country, indeed. Indeed. Um, I've been to Djibouti, I've been to Hargeisa, I've been to Somalia. Oh, wow. How, yeah. well, how long ago now? Three years, but I'm due back. I've just been busy, but I'm due back. In Somalia or Djibouti? Um, I'll go to all of them. I'll, I'll always go to Somalia, Somaliland and Djibouti. Well, do you practice your French? No. And and I'm going to be living in Congo. I don't like French. Why? I don't like English. I wasn't supposed to speak a colonized tongue. I would rather learn Somali or learn, uh, and I'm learning Lingala, um, Amharic, etc., etc. I don't like French. Well, that makes sense. That's okay. Mm -hmm. At least you speak English. That's important? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I, it is now, 
But when you see me as an old man, I feel like I'll only be speaking in African languages. I won't be speaking European languages no more. I'll be able to, but I don't want to. Well, you know what? It's mm -hmm. good that you speak English because you get to share your knowledge. Yesterday, I was, or before yesterday, I was watching your fasting. Um, did you fast? I did, yes. I How was fast for long. I used the application fast and I uh, fast only uh, 13 hours. 13? Yes. Okay. And it's Next. called the, uh, it's Sunday. called, I think. The We're doing Sunday. it until Tuesday a.m. Uh, so I start at night. Mm -hmm. So I start like around here. It ran out at 11 o'clock. So I start at 10 o'clock. And then all the way to like, uh, usually it's 11 o'clock, sometimes 11 a.m. Okay. So it's 13 hours from okay. night to morning or afternoon lunch. Okay. Well, next time on Sunday, this Sunday coming up. Yes. We're gonna... Okay. 36 okay. hours day until Tuesday a.m. Yes. Okay. We're going to do it. It will be yes. easy. Yes, they have that. That's I'm trying to get to that level. They have the 36 hour on the application, and I just need to make sure I'm not working. <laughs> okay, so, sister, yes. you have anything to tell me or anything you want me to to, to answer you before I bring somebody else? Um, quickly, I want to know um, when it comes to the fasting. You know, it you have to be careful what you eat before and after. But during, when you drink water, do you add anything to the water to help you a little bit? No, nothing. Straight water. I'm trying to get a intracellular cleansing and an organ rest. of. Uh, so I don't want to trigger off any enzymes. So I just, just pure spring water. That's it. And it's okay. You can do it. Trust me. You have the power. Yeah. People have fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. So you can do it for two. Yeah, and does the 36-hour fast will help with my gut cleansing, the like completely gut cleansing, only the one time? Uh, well, you should do it regularly, but when you okay. do it, it cleanse your gut and organ, uh, rest your organs as well. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Bye. Merci. Hein? Get Kerry on live. Everyone's saying get Kerry on live. Kerry, do you want to come live? You're welcome to come live. It's nearly 11, 11 here. You added me again. You're here again. Well, go <laughs> I mean, I don't really have a question, so this is going to end really fast. But I really love your page. Really, um, like, it's really informative. So thank you for creating this Instagram page and, you know, informing us on things that ways that we can improve our bodies and our health. Bruce. All right, peace. Thank you. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, you can get from the vegan gift shop. 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 You can also get frankincense from the vegan gift shop this is fresh frankincense you can get from the vegan gift shop what do you need <laughs> we got it carrie's makes live appointments she's currently laying down in bed with no clothes on as you should be don't be in bed wearing clothes you need to be able to have proper blood flow around your body people who are sleeping naked are happier people i do not sleep with clothes on ever 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 so if you come in to sleep in my bed then just know i'm not wearing no clothes shout out to all the people from eritrea Yes, I'll start selling. Yo. Hi, Shaka. How are you? Yeah, man. Life is... How are you? I'm fine. Um, a couple of things. One, I want to say thank you for your time. 
I, this is the second time I talked to you. Last time I talked to you, I was really nervous and just like very surprisingly. So like face cancer, face all this stuff. And then I'm talking to, uh, I honor so much what you do, like everybody else, right? Like you, you are the, I just really appreciate what you do for, yeah. Respect. The service that you do with people. So anywho, um, and so, uh, I, my question is, do you, do you know what's going on with the Philippines right now with what Duterte is used for, uh, the ways that he puts his, yeah. Do you know about what's going on with the Philippines and COVID right now? Yeah, but we see what he did with dealers. So obviously we see what he did with what? With the drug dealers where he just killed. Yeah, 2016. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Clearly, this is a man that does what he wants to do. And the only way to be able to, to, to change that is to stop them or influence what they do. So um, I don't know how you'd go about doing that, but he does not care. <laughs> so No, he doesn't. And, and it's clearly a bit, I mean, and the fact that he was, he's, he doesn't care. And a lot of people in power clearly don't care, as we see a lot of these similarities throughout these world leaders and i guess my hope i i that's kind of one of one of the, the one of the big reasons why i came on here was to get your ideas on how to stop that because i try to get you know there's these petitions that are out i signed it i try to spread the word to say hey <laughs> sign sign this and there's this optimistic part of me that wants to think wow what if the way that everyone was cheering on the world right now during COVID for doctors and people who work in grocery stores, like our heroes, like that, that, that there's a lot of people who rallied and were really positive. Could we get a lot of people to sign this petition that is against Duterte thinking that it's okay. And I, I know we have to be really careful about how we say things because your IG live cuts the fuck out whenever somebody tries to say certain things. And Let me like, just, let me just drop some reality on you right now. Petitions don't mean shit, don't change shit. The only thing that does, oh, the only thing that power acquiesces to is money and loss of life, right? So unless you're going to buy buy them or whether, unless you're going to threaten basically the loss of life of, of people in these establishments, they're not going to do anything. We've seen what happened with Sudan. Everybody changed their AVI to blue. Nobody actually went to Sudan and did anything. Or well, some people did, but most people didn't who were changing their AVI to blue. There's this whole thing where people think that their online opinions matter, but they don't matter. The reason why they don't matter, like you can help to shut down a business, but you can't help to shut down a government by using social media, right? Because the government has people who are paid there independently of what... Um, popular opinion is from other countries. The only way to do it is to create a movement in the Philippines that is going to be able to make the power acquiesce to peace. And the only way that you can do that is they've, you know, people have tried the nonviolent protests. It seems that that gets met with violence and a lot of the time it doesn't work. Or actual physical activism. But this is what I always say to people. You don't have guns, you don't have police, you don't have money. You don't have money to lobby or effectively change politicians. You don't, you, you don't have money to buy politicians. Petitions don't mean shit. The amount of petitions I've been on, the amount of petitions I've had handed in for various things. Very early on in my activism, I realized that petitions don't mean shit because power does what it wants. What it acquiesces to is the loss of life or the loss of finance, that's it. They don't care about anything else. So if you can make them severely lose money, then they'll care. And if you can make them uh, think that some of those government officials or whoever are going to lose their lives, then they'll care. And apart from that, they don't care. That's why so many happen, because people cannot do anything else apart from literally take the power out. So all you can do is earn enough money to be able to buy people to make sure that what you want to happen happens or get enough people together as a critical mass physically on the ground, not on social media, doesn't matter, and change something from in, within the Philippines. Because the Philippine 
The Filipino president does not care what Trump thinks.